Well, it is a pocket box time again. This time we're going to take a slightly late look at the June 2018 box, the Flatline box. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So did I do a little better this time on not speaking too fast? Uh, I'm from Georgia. A lot of people think I should speak slowly, but I do kind of speak fast sometimes because I'm trying to, I'm kind of excited about the stuff. I want to get, get it finished. It's usually getting dark and um, I'm really busy in my life. And so I'm trying, <laughs> I actually kind of have to work these videos into the real world, so to speak. So, but it seems like no matter what I do, somebody's going to complain. If I speak too slow and it takes too long, then somebody says um, they're, I'm dragging it out. If not, whatever, you know, uh, I'm rambling already, so I also get complaints about the rambling, but that's probably not going to change. But anyway, um, we've been looking at these pocket boxes for probably over a year, a couple of years now. And real briefly, a pocket box is a subscription box at myapocketbox.com. And it's, it's a bi-monthly box, so every other month you get a box. I think the total cost is somewhere around 65 bucks every other month. You can check their website at myapocketbox.com, and they'll give you all the details. But every month's box or every other month's box is, is based on some kind of theme this month's theme is flatline it's kind of a first aid theme the pocket box is the creation of creek stewart uh who you may be familiar with from the uh, weather channel show fat guys in the woods i think they have a history in my opinion of, of, of doing a really good job of some months and other months have been a pretty kind of a, a flatline letdown so we're going to find out if this month's flatline box is a flatline or if it's got a heartbeat uh, right now, let me take you down the old stump top and we'll show you what's in the uh, Apocalypse Box June 2018 Flatline box. And I've actually got an outside prop I brought in. We're going to, for the first time, we're going to demonstrate the little project, the little special. Well, you'll see what I mean. Stick with me. Okay, so let's, uh, first I got my uh, thermocell here. It's kind of trying to keep the skeeters at bay. I got some wood here. We'll clean this stuff off of the way right now. Not really sure what kind of fungi I have growing on the old stump top here, but we're going to leave it alone for right now. Let's just see what's. Okay, now let's see what we got. So, uh, Creek's kind of got a, when it, in the last few boxes, they've kind of created this little magazine here. Um, got a little magazine, okay. It's it's a, uh, I guess it's a, a, a brochure, but it tells you what's in the box, kind of explains to you what, what the premise behind the box is. And then he's got a, um, a serial story here. This is the third pair, third chapter, I guess, of a story that he's he's written called the Apocalypse Box Chronicles. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, we're gonna um, I'm gonna move this out of the way now so we can get to I can sh show you this stuff one thing at a time. We'll show you what's in this must box. So as I said, it's basically based on flat liners, based on kind of first aid and things that'll kill you. So before we do that, let me see. I don't. Somebody told me this was like hen of the woods or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this, this stuff. I don't like it. It's bothering me. So the first item in the box is a bug out first aid pouch kit and we're gonna um open this thing up and so it's just a cool little first aid pouch it's got a, a sewn on pouch patch that lets you know it is first aid um some different molly type attachments on back a couple of d-rings here a two-way zipper open it up and it's got a uh some pretty big elastic straps here a pocket here with some little elastic straps here so nothing fancy at all just a little pouch that i guess you could use for first aid and so there's that we'll put that right here the next item is an apocabot ceramic knife which i think is pretty cool actually it's in this um nice little see, like a, just a little really low budget plastic handle with a ceramic blade but let's just see how sharp it is Okay, so it's not sharp enough to shave, which is kind of unusual. I figured a ceramic knife would be really sharp, but it's not really designed for shaving or for carving. It's more for like cutting bandages and cutting your, your clothes off or something like that if you had a first aid situation. But I do want to just, we'll just see if it'll do a little carving here because it is a knife, right? And it will. So it'll, it'll, it actually carves pretty good. It feels really, really good on the cedar. And we're not going to make feather sticks. I'm definitely not going to strike a ferro rod or anything with it. But then that, there's no lock on it. It's just an, a, a little blade. Handy, lot, very, very lightweight, though. Super lightweight blade that you can have to uh, help you if you need a blade in the woods or in your first aid kit. 
It's a great addition to a first aid kit, probably. Uh, the next item is a bug out pharmacy case. And what that is, it's just a little um, plastic box that you can um, you can you can lash it or tie it to whatever, and you open it up, and it's got just a place to put your um, different medications, three days worth of, of medications if you take prescription medicines or painkillers or vitamins or, or, or supplements or whatever you want to, want to put in there. And then basically just uh, this thing pops out here and it's got your lanyard and it's got little dividers in here. You can make a bunch of, a bunch more little compartments there if you choose. I guess you could use this for a lot of things. Uh, you could probably use it for fishing and stuff like that too, but that's the, uh, they're, they're calling it a pharmacy case so there, there's that the next item is something that I think is really really good to have uh, that everybody needs to have at all times on them of some sort and that is a tourniquet this is a rat's tourniquet it is a very nice tourniquet this is one of the things I like about this this tourniquet in particular is that it'll work on really small extremities if you got children with you or whatever some of the uh, ones with a ratchet on them you know with a kind of like a ratchet um, well, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen tourniquets. They, they, they're only going to get so small. This will work on a very, very small uh, small diameter limb or whatever needs a tourniquet. So that's a rat's tourniquet. Uh, next item is um, pretty simple. It's just an emergency all-weather bivy. So it's kind of like an emergency, one of those uh, Mylar emergency blankets, but this is a bag. So it's very small, not much bigger than a regular emergency blanket, but it, it can be used to get somebody warm pretty quick. So that's a good thing there. And then... We have some, a couple other things here. We got some blister prevention tape, so you can put that on your feet if if you think you're getting a blister and it'll help 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 um, or anywhere. But usually it's on your feet. It'll just kind of help um, protect that area so it doesn't keep rubbing it and get a blister. And then a couple of Creek branded band aids because it is a first aid box, right? Uh, then we've got uh, some. They're calling these bug out goggles. And they're just uh, foam padded back goggles. They're kind of like um, sunglasses with a strap on them. They won't fall off your face. So it's good to protect your eyes. Not only will they protect your eyes from UV, but they'll also protect your eyes from sticks and stuff poking in if you're walking through some dense undergrowth. So no, it's a pretty good thing to have for sure if you want to, you know, your eyes are pretty important. If you, if you mess your eyes up while you're trying to survive, you're going to have a, have a big problem. And then finally, um, and like I've said many times, in my opinion, these pocket boxes are not so much let me just turn you around a little bit in my opinion the pocket boxes are not so much about getting a certain amount of stuff at a discount price but it's really about um, how well they comply with the theme and helping you learn skills and, and making you teaching to think and, and, to, and to, to start really focusing on some different aspects of survival mentality and along that line every month they usually have some sort of project or some sort of um, kind of hands-on do-it-yourself thing that kind of is it kind of is outside the box and it's something unusual you probably won't see anywhere else this month is a pretty cool they're calling this a stringamajig which i think is pretty neat and basically it's a little handmade tool here that allows you to take a trash piece of trash a two liter bottle and turn it into cordage and so for the first time ever here on the channel what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate and do this little project because um, I've had some people say you know we really need to focus on that so that's what we're going to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan this back we're going to try and see if this thing does what it's supposed to do which is to make cordage usable cordage out of a two liter plastic bottle and we'll uh, wrap this up so one of the things that I've always found um, maybe a redeeming quality of a pocket box because sometimes if you were just to add up the value of the stuff in here you could probably buy most of that stuff for less than you pay for the box but there's always some special stuff in there you can't really find anywhere and i think this is <laughs> this is an example of that so i thought it'd be interesting i'm gonna try to start doing this more depending upon the time frames of how long it takes to do the different stuff this one seemed like a pretty fast one it seemed pretty interesting and i really like the idea of using trash because you find trash everywhere to make something usable so anyway we're gonna do this. So I've got this ceramic knife out of the pocket box. There's a video um, on Creek's website and there's a link in the in your kind of the paperwork for the box that, that takes you to it. It'll explain, kind of goes into detail how to do this. I've watched it to make sure I can hopefully do this without fumbling too much on camera. So first thing you wanna do is most of these two liter bottles, you can see they have like a little ring around here. So you just wanna take and cut that, take a knife or whatever. This ceramic knife should do it. Get it in there and cut it. Okay, yeah, so once you get it cut in there, then just cut it all the way around. 
completely around, cut the bottom of this thing off. So I'm just going to saw it around. And based on what Creek said, the smoother you can make this cut, the better, which makes sense to me. But we're going to go ahead. I'm just do the best I can with a knife. On this example video, he uses a, uh, a pair of scissors. But let me get up here where you can see it. And and I'll explain to you why that's probably a better idea in just a minute. But okay, so we got that out of the way. Got a little bowl if you want to use a bowl, by the way. So let me fold this knife up so I don't cut myself. So here we got it. We got some paper on here, but I don't think that's going to hurt anything from the sticker. So it's a little bit crooked, so that might have a problem. But if you, so here's basically the way this thing works. You can see it's got some screws here. There's just a, like a razor knife cutter, utility knife blade inserted in here, and it's screwed down, clamped down. There's two arrows here. So this arrow here and this arrow here. And what you want to, the, the, the principle is, you're going to slice this thing through and just start slicing off a spiral of plastic to make the cordage. So. But because it's not so even, it might you might have a, we might have a little problem to begin with. So, but the idea is just go ahead and put it in the corner like so, where the arrows are, and then you can see where the arrow there. That's the direction you want the blade to go. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up just a little bit, tilt you down where you can see, and then uh, just kind of start pushing it through there like so, and see if we can get it to start cutting, kind of like your carbon. Maybe if you pull, maybe if I pull this and do it, it'd be easier that way. Uh, maybe I pull it this way. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So you pull the this little arrow is the direction you pull the you pull the, the bottle in. Okay, yep. See, and you can see it's starting to come out there. You can start to see the tail coming out there. So just just kind of work it on around. I'm gonna let me get here where you can see it. So you see the tail coming up right there. Just work it on around. And keep this thing pulled down tight and see what happens is I just because I was uneven it pulled up a little bit of broke it off which um, that actually happened to creek on his demo video so that's normal so we're gonna keep going with it and keep messing with it and see if we can uh, turn turn around this way and try it with my other hands if that'll work but I don't know if it will or not which way am I going Way? No, this way. All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try again. We got it down there. Okay, you can kind of feel when it starts biting in, and you can see it coming out there. So, once if I can get over the rough part, I've already cut out. Once you get it going, it should just it should start start. Okay. I got two little short pieces. They're not very really helpful. Now I'm gonna keep. There may be a learning curve here, and I may have not climbed it yet. We're going to keep working at it, and see if we can climb that learning curve. So I've got it here now. Started pulling it out, Look around like that. Uh, I think we might be getting somewhere now. Let's see. Look at that. So we got that much so far. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Now, what one thing I, I saw that Creek did, he turned it around like this. Just held this in his hand, one side in, in like that, and just pull it through, like so. And you pull, <laughs> okay, this this stinking thing is working. <laughs> oh, look at this, would you look at this? Would you just look at it? <laughs> okay well by golly so can you see that let me uh okay i gotta say that's pretty impressive so uh once a little slow start had to kind of get it figured out but got a little bit of a funnel there too but so let's just see how about how much cordage we got off of that. Uh, I know from experience that my arm span is about five feet. So there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, about 42 feet. Let's just see how strong this cordage is. I don't think you're gonna break that. 42 feet of cordage from a piece of trash bottle. Um, <laughs> that's amazing 
and this is as you can see it's like very very useful so i gotta say that's a pretty cool little deal there and um it's a great great little tool you can have it's lightweight and you just keep it in your survival kit or whatever so that if you're stranded somewhere it's amazing you can usually find trash almost anywhere it is absolutely amazing but this gives you the opportunity and especially if you had a subvert an, like an urban survival kit you're certainly going to be able to find these find bottles on a, in an urban environment and there's cordage just comes in really really handy you can use this for so many different things and this is um let me just see if i can i'm gonna try to break it so get two sticks so we're just wrapped around these sticks here and see how see if i'm strong enough to break it i don't think i will be but so there's one let's wrap around this bunch like that and see if i can pull them apart and break them by golly i think i can but it's uh <coughs> it's sticking strong this is strong cordage oh, okay finally that took a little bit of effort i gotta say i'm pretty impressed with not just the ability to make the cordage but the uh strength of the cordage that it makes so okay well there's that wow pretty cool this is again over 40 feet of very strong very usable um, functional cordage out of a single trash waste two liter pop bottle soda bottle so pretty cool so anyway i gotta say i'll give this month's a pocket box because of the the kit a pretty good thumbs up it's uh as i've said in the past and as i said in this video i think that the to in my mind the the attraction of the pocket box to me is not that you get x number x you know quantity or a certain dollars worth of goods for a discount which is a, nothing wrong with that some boxes that's the focus but i think the what the, at least the intent of a pocket box is to put together a theme that not only is coherent and it's about a makes you think and, and get your get your mind engaged as far as survival realities but also it's got some unique stuff that you might not see and some skills some skills things that you can learn and work on everybody i've interviewed this this been a survival expert or whatever you want to call them they all say the number one skill you can have the number one factor in survival is right up here in your noggin so i think that skills and mental engagement is a really good thing to focus on not just about stuff because you can have all the gear and all the stuff and get it at such a great deal or whatever you want but if, if you don't have the right mindset it's not gonna do you any good so anyway this must a pocket box as far as could you buy most of the stuff cheaper somewhere else i think you probably could but the string of a jig i've not seen anywhere else so i think that's a pretty cool deal and bottom line um it kind of tips this this one over to me to the thumbs up scale so i'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below i hope this has been helpful as always thanks for watching survival on purpose i put out a brand new video every friday and saturday and very often random videos throughout the week you can check out another one right there if you're not subscribed you can click right down there and subscribe i really appreciate it thanks for sharing this video clicking that thumbs up if you like it i really appreciate your support once again my name's brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time